PFAS can pose a risk to human health. The DOT and DEC are working to identify and sample private water supply wells near airports, looking for water that contains concentrations of PFAS that are above health advisory levels. So far in the investigation, only one site with a concentration higher than that has been discovered, but there are still many more to test. The Alaska Department of Transportation and Public Facilities says 178 potential wells have been identified and 107 of those have been sampled, with 33 of them being connected to the airport. Out of the 107 that we sampled, we've had one come up above the uh, DEC drinking water standard. Sammy Cummings is the PFAS program coordinator with the Alaska DOT's statewide aviation division. She says crews have been collecting samples at airports where AFFF, a standard firefighting agent that is a suspected source of PFAS at airports worldwide that the department is responsible for, has been used since 2017. PFAS is known to transport with the water and impact drinking water wells. So our mission is to mitigate the risk to human health by sampling a uh, drinking water wells near airports. In the past, the Anchorage Airport has conducted sampling on the airport property and has confirmed the presence of PFAS or PER and polyfluoroalkyl substances there. The DOT wants to make sure those have not contaminated any state-owned properties or sites that the department is responsible for. To do that, it contracted a third-party environmental contractor, Shannon and Wilson Inc., to identify and sample any potentially impacted communities. The evaluation includes all past and present part 139 airports, including ANC. Essentially all around it so we can determine where or if the groundwater flow um, is flowing. So we've sampled in the Spinard, Sand Lake, and Turnagain neighborhoods, um, and we've already started receiving results. If a sample does come back above the DEC drinking water standard, the residents are notified and an alternative drinking water source is offered since PFAS at high levels are known to pose risks to human health. And if you have a drinking water well or a garden well that is near the Ted Stevens International Airport that has also not been sampled, you are asked to please reach out to the department's PFAS program or to Shannon and Wilson Inc. in Anchorage. They will help you get everything scheduled so that those wells can be tested. Lex Yelverton, Alaska's News Source.